Here's the device looking at a little closer. The receptacle that this sits on is basically it. It's very simple. This twists in to press this against the rim of the piano, as you can see in the picture. And this has a little leather on the top, which acts to cause friction to make it so that it doesn't slide or you lose your coil. And this is a sample of one of the canisters. And it's very thin and light, unlike some thick plywood ones that I can't imagine hoisting around the shop. You can see the little dowels in here. It's attached with screws down here through the dowels. There's not much wire left in this one, so you can kind of see on the inside. And this drops down as the wire roll gets a little bit thinner. And that's basically it. The first thing you'll need is a 4 by 8 sheet of quarter inch MDF board and cut it into squares, but I had them cut it the long ways in the hardware store, in the lumber store. It made it a lot easier and I just took it home and chopped it up the way I needed it. I marked it, instead of a foot, I marked it a little tiny bit less than a foot and cut them all in pieces there. Of course I use a stop block so that's real easy. And my saw blade protectors off. Notice that I've got my glasses and my ear protection, but I wanted you to see where I'm cutting that. So yeah, it's a little dangerous. Notice also that I've got a nice dust control system that takes all the dust, sucks it right out the other end. Now you're going to take your squares and you're going to draw diagonal lines across them. It's real easy. Just They're kind of square, maybe not exactly, but it doesn't matter. There's a little bit of slop in this, so it's real easy to make it work but just draw a diagonal so now you have your center line and you're gonna put marks three and a half inches away from that center line and you're gonna be drilling holes there later and also one in the center notice that the one hole in the center I'm gonna put just a little tiny bit off center that way when I do my circles it'll be a little bit closer on that side and it's easier to do so I'll drill all my holes here as fast as I can Next I'm going to measure and cut several at a time. I'm just going to mark my drill bit and I'm going to put those back in where I cut them just to hold them. I think I did five at a time, just saved a little bit of time. Now we're going to make a jig to cut circles. And all I did was took a piece of scrap plywood. I drew a line there and this is going to be my bench. And I just cut it, put it right on there. When I stop this then I'll clamp it on there and uh, that's where I'm going to make my circle cutting jig. I cut a nail and I put it in the center there so I can tack it in and don't hit it too hard you don't want to mess up your drill press but that's just a little nail now those holes I drilled in the center a little bit off center I can just put it in and just push it around it's real easy to cut circles next my dowel that's going to have the wire go through it is going to have a guide rail bushing or a tension bushing or whatever you want to call it but I just put a little bit of felt uh, through that hole I drilled a hole and and put it not too big a hole and then I'm gonna burnish it a little bit with a, a Menino reamer to make sure that uh, wire will go through there it doesn't have to be tight it's not gonna fall out and trust me on that and that's a number 14 wire I'm just showing you how once that wires in there it's not gonna come out I put a little bit of glue on one side of it and I left it extended just out just a little bit because uh, the side that I put the wire in I want it to be a little bit bigger just so it's easier for me to see that hole. Now we're going to build the stand that the canister sits on. and These are all 8 inches long. These are of course 2 by 4s. This little piece down here is at almost 3 inches. It doesn't matter a whole lot. And these are five and a quarter inches wide, eight inches long. But this uh, plywood's important to set on top. And the way it's going to go is like this. This is going to go inside, and this is going to have my piece of leather on with my screws that go through, and uh, leather on this side, leather on that side. And then this is going to be on top. It's kind of important to have this on uh, plywood so it doesn't break apart. And then this on, on top. Then we're going to drill a hole through here and not quite all the way through there for our uh, dowel receptacle. This is the receiver for the canisters and it's got leather on it. 
And uh, before you put it on the piano, get in there and clean out. It's a little brass brush. And make sure there's nothing in there. Then the next thing you're going to do is put it on, and I put a cloth in between it. Now the receptacle that I have on here has a little board. There's really not much to it. You can see in there there's leather wherever it touches the piano, and it just sits in there in these holes. And I board those out. They're not uh, they're nuts, but they're not actually uh, threaded. And so that goes in there. So once that's in there, I put my cloth across there, and then I'll uh, screw it uh, not not tight, but just so it's not going to go anywhere. You can see it's just scrap wood. There's even a crack there, but that's okay. It, it works. And I made this little hole here for my little Allen wrench. So whenever I want to leave it there, uh, it'll stay and not fall out. I put a little PVCE, just a little drop of it right at the entryway there. So it's a little snug. And that's where that lives. This is just the arm. Once again, you can see it's just a piece of scrap wood that I had laying around. And I've got my dowel in here that's the, uh, takes up the tension on the wire. And then I put a piece of leather here. That's the same diameter hole as a canister. So it just goes like the very simple. That was already put on, you saw that. And I put this on. And then the canister just sits right there. Notice I have four little holes around here. So no matter where this wire goes, I'll be able to put it and secure it. And now, I'm ready to load it up. I just pull this around. I put it through the guide hole there. Now, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's, it's not gonna take off on you. The friction of this leather underneath there is all you need. You don't need fancy brakes or anything. And so that's really the whole system. For those of you in my class, I'm giving you the top and the bottom. Remember the bottom has these recess holes three quarters of an inch. And so you can see that's top and bottom. These are little two inch dowels inside there. Gave you that. And then this is the spindle that holds everything on right there. Notice how you can sit up on the bench. It's pretty stable. You can do it different than me. You can just clamp it onto the side of the piano or like uh, Rick does, you can have it clamped onto something with all the wire that has wheels on it and rolls it around. This is just a little cradle that I put all my sizes of wire in. I've got a towel across it, and underneath this I have a damp chaser. So if it's uh, got moisture in my shop anytime, I just plug that in. It gives you 25 watts, or that might be a 15 watt one. I think it's a longer one, so 25 watts. You cover this up. When I get ready to string, I pull it out, and I got everything right there. And all I do is just cover it up, put this over the top of that heat bar, and uh, it actually keeps it really dry and your wire won't rust. So that's kind of an important thing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you any plans for that. Just a piece of plywood and stuff I threw together and I just lift it out and put it wherever I need it to be. Here's a little drawing of the squares that I turned into circles. And of course you draw your diagonal lines first and that gives you your center. And then the hole in the center with an eighth inch bit is gonna be a tiny bit off center, just like a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch off center. And then out from the center, uh, four holes dr drilled three and a half inches away from the center. They're also at eight inch bit. So you've got, end up with a, a square that has five holes in it, small ones. Now, to do the tops, you're going to have five large holes in it. In other words, you're going to have one in the middle, the center hole, that's an inch and a quarter hole. And that will accommodate your, your uh, dowel, which should be inch and an eighth. So it gives you plenty of room. Then the other four holes, they're going to be three quarters of an inch and uh, uh, dowels that come up through there. But we're going to drill those 13 sixteenths. And that gives you a little bit of play there. So that, it doesn't have to be exact. You're going to fit on there just fine. Now in the bottom, you're also going to have the center hole, the inch and a quarter center hole. But you're going to have uh, four recess holes. They're not going to go all the way through. But they're going to ha uh, be a three quarter inch hole with a spade bit, but don't go all the way through. Now you're going to have the, the tip of the spade bit's going to go all the way through, of course, but you'll be able to recess uh, the dowels in just slightly so that wire won't get caught under that dowel. So that's kind of important. And those dowels are two inches long. And I can't remember what the center hole dowel was. I think it's four inches or five inches long. It doesn't matter too much.